my name is Randa McKinney and I'm a Principal Product Manager on the Adobe Connect team. I work on our mobility tools and I'm here to tell you about an exciting new release we have coming out of Adobe Connect Mobile for Android. Specifically in this release we have some great new features. We have two-way video from the devices and we also have optimized for the tablet experience. We have a lot more ways you can engage with your meetings when you're participating from the mobile device. For example, today I'm going to walk you through on the Motorola Zoom tablet as well as here on the Droid X. We work on a lot of other Android devices as well. So let's take a look. So here we are on the Motorola Zoom. We're running Adobe Connect Mobile for Android and we're in the new client. We've really enhanced this client in this new release. You have the true experience of being a meeting participant now. In the older release we were limited to the number of pods you could see. In this release you're actually seeing the meeting much the same way as someone who attends from the desktop would see the meeting. So I've joined a meeting in progress here. It's our employee new hire training and I can see my instructor Kel Varson is there ready to get the meeting going. I can see below that the list of attendees who are participating with me. I can see the chat messages that have occurred so far in the training and I can also see that he started a parking lot here in the notepad uh, that shows the different questions that students have brought in. So as he gets started what I may wish to do is, is really focus in on the share pod where he's sharing his slides. So an easy way to do that is I can just tap on the share pod and that allows me to zoom in and focus on the key content that's important to me while I'm taking this training. I may also just like to see what he looks like or watch him talk for a bit and over here I have a navigation panel where I can click to view his video and I can see him talking as he's presenting this training for me. Uh, I may also decide I'd rather watch both again so I can just switch back to that preview mode or overview mode which is going to show me all the pods at once. Now as the meeting continues I may have some questions myself so I can tap on the pod or tap in the navigation panel to zoom in and chat and I can read here Kel has written some messages I can tap in the input field there and I can actually start to type my own question if I had a question for the group and send that to everyone. And when I'm done with the chat pod I can simply select to move somewhere else. We've added support for additional pods in this release. As I mentioned, we now can see the note pod if we're on your mobile client. So I can zoom in and take a look at that parking lot, make sure he's included my question there if he hasn't answered it. And also as uh, he's going through his class, he may decide to offer a poll. And we now support input from the mobile clients into the poll pod. And any dynamic change he makes in the meeting happens right away. So you may have noticed this little poll icon has appeared right here and I can zoom in on that and I can easily read it. This is a multiple select poll asking me how I get to work. I actually often take the ferry and the bus. So I'm going to select both of those and he's got the poll open so I can see how other participants have responded as well. Now let's switch over to the Droid X and we'll talk about some of the other features of Adobe Connect Mobile for Android. So here we are on the Droid X and I have joined the very same meeting. I'm looking at the employee time off slide and we're watching Kel give the presentation. As you can see in the new Adobe Connect Mobile client here on the Droid X, we still have this enhanced experience where we have the overview mode where we can see all of the different things that are happening in the meeting at the same time. We've just made it fit in the form factor for the smaller phone. Now at this point in the class, what Kel has determined is there are a lot of people who have questions about time off. So what he's decided to do is pause the training and give us the opportunity to ask our questions and he wanted to make it more engaging. So what he did is he gave us all the option to actually broadcast our web cameras to ask our questions. So that's why I see this new web camera icon here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my web camera and start that broadcast and over in the meeting what you'll see happen is Cal can now see me broadcasting from my Droid X. This is upstream video into the meeting. He can see my face, he can see me as I ask my question, and this really adds a far more engaging experience for everyone in the meeting. They feel like they can see me, they get to know me, and, and we have a much more collaborative time in our training. So uh, that's it for the new features on Android Adobe Connect Mobile, and we hope you'll download it and give it a try.